Snow in summer, ice in my heart. Death's cold fingers tear us apart. Snow in summer, ice in my heart. Death's cold fingers tear us apart. Against anger's horde we took up sword and fought from dawn to dawn. Though we did win too many kin, gave life to see them gone. To Manga's lair we took the snare, its hooks did end his reign. Now there it lies, if e'er he rise, to bring him low again. Snow in summer, ice in my heart. Death's cold fingers tear us apart. Snow in summer, ice in my heart. Death's cold fingers tear us apart. Summer's day in Scarabray Became a wintry night Foes from below blood on the snow Bright crimson on white A madman's story of ancient glory Brought death from far away Music has always been a hallmark of the Bardstill games. In fact, we made the original game about a bard because of an innovative little piece of code that allowed the Apple II to play music without bringing everything to a halt. 30 years later, music is still at the center of the series. And since we were bringing a Celtic feel to Barrow's Deep, it seemed appropriate to look to Scotland for our soundtrack. With the help of producer Jed Grimes, we brought together the finest folk singers and musicians performing today, and they made magic. And the elven forest, I fought the beast gone now. I won the bows and arrows and walked the forest path. It's a haunting and beautiful sound. It's basically unique to the Western Isles. And we managed to uh, find a choir who could sing these Gaelic psalms. So I think this is the first time that, that Gaelic psalms, which are you know, hundreds of years old, uh, uh, will be heard in a game, really. You know? So that was a very special experience for me. So it's not all about old, ancient music. It's about young people embracing the beauty of these songs and the beauty of these melodies and taking that forward in a progressive way. It's so important for me to see to see Gaelic song on this kind of platform because I just I think it's so deserving of it. You know, as I say, I've grown up I've grown up in that community and I've grown up with the songs and I think to to see them being used on this kind of stage is it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. So I'm just really excited to see how players react to it and uh, to to play the game myself. Music in games can be a lot of things: driving, heroic, mysterious. And the music in Bard's Cell 4 Barrows Deep is all of that, but it's also something a lot more rare. It's beautiful. It gets into your soul. I think the singers and musicians have done something very special here, and I'm proud to share it with the world. This is one of the most wonderful game soundtracks I've ever been involved with. Scarabri has burned, Scarabri has gone. One day I'll be returning. Until then I must be strong For now that I must journey My foes may overwhelm But I can't 
hundred and two hundred till I've crossed the seven realms. Cheers, guys. I'm a Johnny on a smoke, eh? What are they talking about living art scenes? When we decided to that make sounds like performance four, arts. Arrows <laughs> deep, I found myself wondering how could we incorporate the iconic <laughs> box art from the first game? Then it hit me. Oh, my what sounds if the art good. Came to life? What if, for the first time in 30 years, the bard started playing that harp on his knee and began reciting his famous poem? What a perfect way to reinforce the history of the game while yet bring a classic to a modern audience. But how to do it? First, we built a special set. The game artwork was projected onto a 10 foot high canvas, traced the outlines, and then painting it so it was an exact replica of the original. Next, a forced perspective foreground was built designed to place the actors in a very shallow, compact space to create the illusion of a painting. The <laughs> actors were then fitted with canvas clothing, which was painted with highlights and shadows included, and each actor was carefully fitted into the compressed foreground space. Finally, on the day of the shoot, makeup artists meticulously painted the actors' faces to match their box art characters. After three months of preparation and 30 years of anticipation, it was time to roll the cameras, yell action, and bring the bard back to life. The song I Whoa, sing look at that. will tell a the thing. tale of a cold and wintry day, of castle walls and torch-lit halls, and a price men had to pay. But, I mean, three months on that? Come on, what the fuck? Dude, that's, a, that's a bit much, right? History of Long, Kiss. long ago, two grey gods crawled through a rift into this world. And found it warm. Lush, you guys can hear me? My sound is good. Unclaimed. It lacked only worshippers. So these gods, the fam here, gifted apes with thought, shaping them into a clever, violent race. Humanity. Great civilizations soon spread across the world. Bloodthirsty, cruel. And strong in magic. Then the Famir turned their greedy eyes on Arborea and Canestia, the homes of the elves and dwarfs, who until then had hardly noticed the thinking apes or their gods. Uh -huh. Thus began the All War. The, the All elves War. And dwarfs banded together to defeat the Famir and their human armies. Fam hair were unkillable. All that could be done was drive them back through the rift. And even this cost the old races. All their gods and heroes died closing it. Worse, the fam hair never stopped clawing at it from the void, rending the very fabric of the world. So, a song spell was made that would forever knit up the rift. And as punishment for their part in the war, the human cool. king's daughter was enchanted so she might sing the song without food or rest for eternity. A thousand years on, and the maiden is forgotten, but the whispers of the fam hair still invade the dreams of the ambitious. Promising power and crimson glory. Three times have evil men power, heeded that crimson call glory. and sought the rift. And three times have they been defeated by ragtag and unproven heroes. Today the whispers wake a new evil. More devious than those that came before. Who this time will stand against it? What heroes this time will rise? A summer's day in 
Sounds mighty good to me, man. I mean, uh, I just got this game and it was cheap on sale, ready to go. Give me a second, guys. Death from far away For eldritch power Dead manga scour The depths of Scarabri Snow in summer I need in my head Death's cold fingers Tear us apart Snow in How's that? That better? Make sure you guys can hear the game and I'm not too loud. New game. We'll win this easy. Honor demands that none of us are going to die here. And fought from dawn to dawn. Makita Gamer, hello, greetings, thank you for dropping in. To the field of honor. This will be a walk in the park. Let us show these villains the folly of their ways. Took the snare, its hooks did end his reign. Now there it lies, if fair he rise, to bring him low again. Not really. Sure, it'll be tough. I wouldn't have any other way. Summer. If it's all the same to you, I'd rather we didn't. I we'll win this easy. Death's cold fingers tear us apart. I usually go with the, the easy settings. Just get my feet wet in the game here. In my Death's cold fingers tear us apart. Let us show these villains the folly of their ways. This will be a walk in the park. The only the difference is combat, combat difficulty. Let us show these villains the folly of their ways. So I guess that's normal setting would be tavern song. But is that I'm playing as the girl or I'm playing as, you know, the character that's given here or what? Um, let's go with Tavern Song, sure. Oh. For the feet of the world, well met, friends. In summer, you I have no a pleasure to be traveling head. with you. You have no Dead's honor. I want to be Dead's able to skip puzzles, you know, Against like if something just seems outrageously stupid difficult I can skip it I shouldn't find anything like that in this game I wouldn't suspect but I want the ability because I don't want to be just held up for no gosh darn reason you know what I mean uh, let's see here Snow in summer, ice in my head. Death's call. Slim winds won. Tear us apart. Snow in summer. <laughs> that's, that's the living art. The song I, I sing will tell the tale. Of a cold and wintry day, of castle walls and torch-lit halls, and a price men had to pay. When evil fled and brave men bled, the Dark One came to stay. Held men of old for blood and gold, had rescued Scarabray. Three months for that, they said. D come on, man. That's a bit much. Three months for that. Good 
God, man. Give that to a real production crew. You'd have that in a, two weeks. Jesus. <laughs> Just make sure the actors know what they're doing. I'll, I'll take care of the rest. Oh, man, Jesus. <laughs> Three months. That's insane, man. For that. What was that? Five, ten seconds? Do you feel pity, friends, when you look upon these wretches? Well, wash it from your hearts. For these are the villains who seek to turn Scarabray into a pit of depravity. Elves, dwarves, trow, and practitioners of the dark arts. Enemies all, whose wicked lives must end if our city is to live in peace again. Trow, don't hear that much. Trow or drow, I never children, hear that much. Nice. Shall the sword father smite all who befriend the old races. He shall drive the elf and the dwarf back to their wretched holes. He shall burn the witches and warlocks who make pacts with them. He shall cut out the tongues of the bards who sing of them. For the Sword Father knows it is the followers of the old ways who are killing the people of Scarabray, who are sacrificing us to their dark and bloody handed gods. Right. Can't get up there and mess with the guy, huh? What did he do? What did he do that was so wrong? Can I talk to her? No? Where's this music? Guys, shut up, man. I'm trying to hear the music. Boy, I wouldn't mind being able to get a the soundtrack to go with this, eh? I helped the dwarf once. He needed directions. Do you think I'll finish before it? Well, I wouldn't make So the in hold on. Ah. And that, now I can change all this crap, man. Rotating mini map off. Quest waypoints on. Head bob, meh. Rotate camera while grid moving. Grid move F X. And, uh, uh, always show combat grid. Okay. We'll apply all that and see how that looks. Ah, if they have like little blue stars above their head, I guess I can talk to them. That's what that means. Okay, good to go. I think we're ready to get set on a game. Ladies and gentlemen, are you prepared? Excuse me. You hear that bit of clacking around? <laughs> I 
the insides of my damn right head right headphone on my headset has apparently fallen out. My brand new headset that I got what two, three weeks ago? Oh, pisses me right off, man. And I haven't been hard with it. And of course, I don't have like the receipt or anything, or you know, it's just past its two-week mark and all that crap, man. Why? Oh, that's a bad business, and no mistake. Wow, I just walk up to him and, and it starts. I didn't have to like push a button to interact. I, I don't understand. What did they do? What was their crime? Existing. Their crime? Existing was their crime. <laughs> the I called it. don't like our kind. Yeah. What, 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 what did the Jews do wrong? I'm not going to get into that, but why the Nazis go after them? Because they, they existed. They existed. Well, what was the crime? Not a damn thing. What was that six-year-old's crime? Nothing? Oh, well, okay then. Yeah, it's like a it was like a fifteen dollar, twenty dollar pair of headphones from Dollar General, man. It's it's crap, you know. <laughs> it's crap to begin with. I mean, it's it's as much as people pay for earbuds with a built-in microphone. Ah, Dollar General. Yes, the place you can buy crap for practically more expensive. Dollar, dollar Colonial, I don't even... Not a clue, man. Don't even get that around here. Probably one of their off-brands from Dollar General or something, man. And now, you remember the Everything's a Dollar Store? Now the Everything's a Dollar Store sell crap that is not even close to a dollar. <laughs> we'll sell five and six and ten dollar stuff, some of them. It's like, well, then you've completely ruined the idea of your store. <laughs> the dollar captain, yeah. <clears throat> I remember um, being able to shop out of Ben and Franklin's, right? And uh, a Ben Franklin's, and they they were what was considered the nickel and dime store. Like old school nickel and dime store. But of course, you had stuff that was up to $30, $40 in there, but it was the cheap version of something $100 that you'd find, you know? And boy, a lot of their stuff for the pennies and for the dimes and nickels and like legit dimes and nickels in the 90s that you would pay a lot of their stuff, you could make some pretty decent things out of. We're going back through there and get all kinds of craft stuff. Like if you wanted to make, if you were like like you, Ronnie, doing models and stuff, and you get the uh, all of the 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 foam boards and plastic boards and the the, the composite boards and uh, like the little plastic sheeting sheets to make your own model pieces out of and everything. Like you could buy all of that dirt cheap there. It's good stuff.
Yeah, Ben Franklin's was a rare thing back in 2000, man. I don't even know if they still exist. <laughs> See, here's a th sad thing. I had a huge Hobby Lobby here in town. I mean, great, I mean, huge, huge Hobby Lobby warehouse size thing. And they got changed into the liquor store that's killing my liquor store. They got changed into a liquor store that is, I mean, they're carrying, they somehow get to carry shit that all of the, none of the other liquor stores can get in this region. Like, I don't know how they're legally doing it, if at all, or whatever, because like, say, um, some of the wines, like the very expensive wines that are allocated wines, they're able to get that. I mean, just in the blink of an eye. Some of it. What really pisses me off is like. So, uh, Crown Royal came out with Blackberry. Crown Royal Blackberry came out, right? Now what pisses me off is they is every every liquor store all the uh, all of our distributors to the liquor store all of our distributors have allocated uh, liquors. I'm gonna give this store this much really good stuff, and that's all you can buy because I have to sell it to the other stores. So my store is at the bottom of the list. And I've tried. Like me, as the manager, as one of the managers, and, and like the owner, as the owner who's putting up the money, hey, we should get this in so that we can draw this crowd so that I can order more stuff like this that draws the crowd. Right? Hey, I need to order two or three bottles of this thing so I can draw this crowd so I can get these guys here. Well, we can't sell you that. You don't have enough points for your allocation. Every distributor in, in the region gives me this crap, right? So I'm telling them, like, well, how the hell am I supposed to get the points to sell the big stuff if you refuse to sell it to me to get the points and none not a single one of my uh, representative give, gives me an answer on that I try to order it every, every week you guys tell me no I'm just a shit store to you apparently is, is where I'm at it's like they just don't care they don't they don't want to give it to me they don't care <laughs> uh, you want to order it to you I'm not going to give it to you is the impression I get from from all of them. It's ridiculous, you know. Like, say, Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace whiskey? Tch, tch, try getting that in this town, man. There's three stores that get it. There's three stores that get it. Other stores might or a Weller, Weller whiskey. Like, we may occasionally get it in, but if I do get it in, it's because they were, eh, the other guys didn't didn't buy it, didn't, didn't need as much as they thought last week. Well, why the fuck didn't you sell it to me in the first place? Psh. Guys don't know how to sell shit, man. That's my thing. Like, like I had, ju I just had uh, Coca Cola in today. Gold Peak Tea, unsweet Gold Peak Tea. I'm gonna sit here and rant a minute while I roll a cigarette, and then I'll get back to the game. Sorry, guys. Unsweet Gold Peak Tea. I'm the only guy buy. Uh, uh, well, I'm one of the few people in the store. I got, I got other customers come through. And they'll buy a three or four bottles a day. 
right? I'm talking like the 20 ounce bottles of uns classic southern style unsweet tea. Because I don't need all that sugar in every drink that I have, right? So, at one point, like a year ago, different different guy, bring, bring different uh, uh, salesman. Guy came in, hey man, um, you know, you brought me two cases of this unsweet tea last week. How about you bring me, you know, I ran out of that. How about you bring me three cases this week? Right, and I'd run into him uh, uh, for like two or three for like three weeks in a row, and I had him up to bringing me like five cases a week. You know, I had it, I was like, hey, you know, we did it again last week. We sold out of this. How about this week? You bring me this many cases of tea. Uh, okay. Like I said, I'll, I'm in there grabbing three to f uh, or two or four bottles a day because I get them for a, you know a buck fifty a piece as opposed to two dollars a piece you normally sell them at. That's so one of the few things I get a discount on. But it's like, hey, uh, how about you bring me five cases a week? And he brings me five cases a week, and I sold out of the five cases a week. Now, this is multiple weeks of me telling me, telling him, hey, how about you bring me more because I keep running out. The week I wasn't there, five cases he brings me, and the week I wasn't there to say, hey, how about you up it to six and see if we don't run out. He brings me one case. What is that crap, man? You're in charge of ordering stuff for this store. The thing that the store continuously sells out of is the one thing you know you need to bring more of. Have you been doing sales for over a month? Obviously, because I've been telling you, hey, bring me more. Bring, bring me more. And then people just let me run out of shit. And it's just like, I don't get it. <laughs> I just don't get it. Like warehouses. I'm ordering from the warehouse that's supposed to have pallets upon pallets of crap for me to buy. Right? Like if I want to buy four or five pallets of something, I should be able to do that. <laughs> like I understand a large bulk like okay if I want to buy six pallets of uh, I'm talking full pallets if I want to buy six pallets of Tito's half gallons because it's on sale I should be able to do that. You've got it on deep sale, I can buy out your warehouse. Screw the other guys, they didn't call early enough. That's what I'm getting from from the other guys, but when I try to do that, they say, well, no, the other guy beat you to it. Or they say, no, we have to save it for the other guy. That's normally what I run into is, no, we have to save it for the other guy. What is that crap? <sighs> tea, you don't, you know, we like our tea here in the U.S., Ronnie. Ronnie, I mean, like, you know, there's a whole war about it and stuff. Good Southern tea to get distributed correctly for, like, I mean, all of the stores that sell your average beverage, Pepsi, Colas, all the sodas and shit. T really does move, but it's hard to keep in stock, which is ridiculous. It's hard to get the, the guys. Like, they, they produce plenty of it. There's no reason not to, but, like, um, why aren't you guys bringing me more? 
and then they bring me the wrong kind of tea that's not selling in my store guy brought me tea and I was like hey look man that tea expired three months ago why is that tea sitting on my shelf I have to get to the guy like look at those numbers man that's your job Arg. Okay, so anyways, their crime existing was a crime. The Fatherettes don't like our kind. Come on, before those paladins give us a second glance. I'll give them a second glance. And maybe a... Wait, I, I, I chose to be the female? Oh, oh here now. Save it. You'll only get yourself killed. And we need you. You're gonna save. <laughs> Wait, so that that was choosing my character? Hold on, man. Darkness. And you driving it back from whence it's this way. So that is choosing my kind of character? Hold on. Let's choose a different a different a different path on this. Let's try a new game. So well, when this easy. Honor demands that we Oh, so it is choosing what kind of character I'm playing as. Is that, is that what this is? Or is this just combat style? Because I didn't get to choose like Evil will not power I can't imagine it is because, like, you, to the field of you get to choose multiple thingies, right? I thought I played as a dude in this. I don't know. I just want to make sure I'm not messing up. Uh, just game slot one. It's fine. Save one. Against anger's horde, we took up sword and fought from dawn to dawn. Though, meh, they think it's all cute and shit. Th took three fucking months for that crap. No, it's it's not as good as they thought it was. I don't even need to watch it again. Eh, just push it till it's caught up, man. Two times speed ain't doing you no good. Uh. Do you feel pity, friends? A good lunch break doesn't hurt. Well, Get the grub in you. Your hearts, Some caffeine, all that jazz. Who seek to turn Scarabray into a pit of depravity. Elves, well, I guess I'll dwarves, just stop the game again. And practitioners of the dark arts. Enemies all, whose wicked lives must end if our city is to live in peace again. Thus, children, shall the Sword Father smite all who befriend the old races. That's what you get, you heather in for. He shall drive the elf and the dwarf back to their race. Be in a race, you heather in. He shall burn what the, the witches and warlocks who make pacts with them. He shall cut out the like tongues of the bards me. who sing of them. For the sword father knows it is the followers of the old ways <laughs> who are killing the people of Scarabray, who are sacrificing us to their dark and bloody handed gods. Ain't no reason to let the co-worker stop you from what you're doing. Us. I 
another Russian joke. All right. Do we get to hear the Russian joke, Ronnie? Is, is, it, is it a clean Russian joke? Is it a Russian joke we can hear? I want to hear that music. So a guy is eating at a restaurant, and the waiter brings his food. The customer notices that the, notices that the waiter's thumb is in the food, but he just uh, lets it be. Then he gets another plate brought over later, and the guy's thumb is in the food again. Finally, while bringing the coffee, the waiter has his thumb in the cup of coffee. So the customer finally goes, I gotta ask, why is your thumb in my food? The waiter explains that he had that he had, had pain in his thumb and the doctor said to keep it warm to help him. The customer asks, why don't you just stick your thumb in your butt? I did. And then I had to serve you. I get it. <laughs> oh, that's a bad business. And no mistake. That is a big, big, uh, that is a bad business. No mistake. I, Here. I don't understand. What did they do? What was their crime? Phone support, fun stuff. Their crime. Enjoy the your day, Ronnie. Crime. The fatherites don't like our kind. Come on, before those paladins give us a second glance. Well, Charlie, yeah, no, I try to, I've got, you know, it, it's tough, I know, as a streamer, it's tough to, to drop by a hundred and 200 guys streams to, I, I do my best, I drop in what, what I can to live, that's what I do, when I, when I, when I get the thing, it's not, I don't necessarily go with like, uh, I don't, I don't go with like what, YouTube feeds feeds me for live shit. Like I go to who's live out of the people I know. Who's live? Who's doing something? I'll drop in and do that. Um, the uh, the shorts. I try to jump into some shorts on every other channel. And you know, it's it's always good. I got you know. We have to 
we have to communicate and game our games, man, together. I have the uh, I have a baseball game. Uh, uh, that's this little cutesy baseball game, but like the controls are like, as far as controlling the guys in a game, boy, it's rough. But it's meant for like this online play thing that I'm. I really hate doing online games with. Uh, other people like I, I generally just can't stand doing lobby style games <laughs> oh no Charlie I wasn't saying that at all I'm just saying uh, like you know we gotta uh, as gamers stick around do our thing, you know. Uh, there you go, standard moderator, man. You can you can uh, find all the other guys that come up on my channel. You can uh, post relevant links to the game, you know. I'll give them a second glance. I'll and give them a second glance. And maybe a... Oh, I'm here now. Save it. You'll only get yourself killed. And we need you. You're going to save Scarabray. I don't know. I'd love to... Sp you know, the $20 I spent at fucking Dollar General for this cheap-ass shit headset, I could go to Walmart and get a better headset for the same damn price. That's what pissed me off about this headset. Yeah, thanks for dropping a like, Charlie. <laughs> ah, you're looking at me like you think old Robbie's had a few too many. Well, maybe I have. This is no drunkard's fancy. You've been in my dreams seven nights now, and each one with the same end. You the hero, and me lost. Wait, 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 wait. My image specifically has been in your dreams for seven nights now. Like, like, I, 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 I just gotta make that clear. You're not just talking about somebody who's going to be the... I specifically has been in your dreams. That sounds creepy, man. That sounds pretty creepy. Is that is that what we're going with? All right. They all start with some evil slithering out of the darkness, and you driving it back from whence it came. But I don't make it to the happy ever after. There's a moment right at the end. Well, you could save me, and instead you choose not to. You just turn away and leave me to be buried alive. Oh, no foreshadowing or anything in this game. Well, maybe that means I shouldn't trust you. But you're the best hope we've got. So I guess I'll just have to pray that part. You got a wrench. Me. Only is it to adjust things that need you. Need adjusting. <laughs> See the cat. The dog messed up my headset. Now I'm gonna get a new one. Probably. Oh god, let's see. I'm still a week off, aren't I? Because today is what 26th. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm still a good week off. Close anyhow. Anyway, hero, let's get back to the Adventurers Guild. I have a few words to say to the congregation. 
But no, you're playing some solid baseball, man, Charlie. I'm going to tell you. I need to get... I've been looking for a good... A good sports game like that, you know. But I want it on the cheap, but I want it to be it. A solid sports game. What's hard to find... I was going to say, what's hard to find is a good, um, a good cricket game is hard to find. What I would really love a video game of, do you know what Crokinole is? Any of those familiar with the game of Crokinole? Like you get the, the, it's a big, it's a big circular board thing. And you flick these pieces across like shuffleboard, right? You kind of shuffle, you, you flick the pieces across for points. And that that's a heck of a game. I'd, I'd love like like the old school games that you used to play as a kid that you cannot find anywhere in the world as a video game version bumper pool who remembers bumper pool cricket there are a few cricket video games. A video game I would love to get is called uh, 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 a video game I would love to get f would be for um, like Olympic style sailboat racing. It's an event, you know, sailing, the sailing event. But uh, there's no console, there's no console game for it. Like there were, there were, I don't know if there are even servers anymore, there were a couple of uh, online games, but they're not as realistic as they used to be, the ones I've found. This way. Rabbi, the leader of the Adventurer's Guild, has temporarily joined your party. While in combat, Rabbi can attack with his axe. And Shillelagh, as well as hand out health potions to his allies. Okay. Let's read this properly. <clears throat> Robbie, the leader of the Adventurer's Guild, has temporarily joined your party. While in combat, Robbie can attack with his axe and shillelagh, as well as hand out potions to his allies. This is Melody, the bard. She's your very first adventurer. Oh, so I changed adventurers. Okay. This is Melody, the bard. She's your very first adventurer. You'll be able to replace her with a custom character shortly, if you like. She can attack with a hatchet, gain powers by drinking booze, and play sanctuary, er, and play sanctuary score to shield her allies. Hmm. Interesting. Your party, three of three. You can bring up the party bar at any time with the square button. Okay. So then I can... What, R for... Oh.
No, I'm just checking it out, game. <laughs> what you want? Free move, free move to any space, square for party. Okay, I can bring party menu. Ah, welcome to your skill tree. Each time you level up, you're in a skill point, which can be spent to unlock new skills. Spot between different skill trees of your adventurer's archetype using the L2 button and R2. Extensions, attack, defense, utility. Swap between different skill trees of your adventurers. Oh, oh, well, there are. Oh, which adventure I'm. I see. Your skill tree is broken into three trees. To unlock the second tier of skills, you must spend eight skill points. To unlock the third tier, you must spend a total of 16 points. The first time you unlock a tier, you'll have a you'll have to travel to the Adventurer's Guild to judge to be judged worthy of advancement by the review board. Okay, your skill tree is broken uh, to unlock the third tier you must spend a total of 16 points the first time you unlock a tier you must travel to the I see target foes are shrunk reducing their strength is that what that says Shrunk, yeah. Target foes are shrunk, reducing their strength to 50% for one turn. Or reduce all ability cooldowns in your entire party by one. Well, it kind of depends on what the other stuff you unlock is, isn't it? Mark all enemies. Damages the enemies. Stun yourself and a single enemy for two turns as they are forced to dance. Ah. At the start of combat, one enemy falls in love with the bard for up to three seconds, or plus one opportunity, one per party. I think I'm gonna go with this. No, I can't. Well, whatever, we'll get there. Uh, options. I thought I had that. There we go. There we go. Now I'm moving. Ooh, what's the sign say? Temple Street. You can't swing a cat in Scarabray these days without hitting a paladin. Not that I'm prone to swinging cats. You're blocking the public way. You'll have to move. Well, where am I supposed to go? That's your problem. Just go. Seems like a friendly town. Everybody's getting along just fine. Ooh, I got multiple thingies I can do. Yeah, let's ignore the big main thing it's telling me to go to. More murder. 
I should... There's nothing to be gained fighting the Fatherites head on. There's another way. At least, I hope there is. Ooh, take the stuff. Report all witches. Death report to the elves. all heroes. Turn thou from superstition. Who in the temple has the answers? The fair folk are not thy friends. Venture not into the grave below. Only evil dwells there. Loot early, I guess. You short yesterday? Right on. <laughs> oh, that was great. Come here for soup, have you? Well, soup is not an adequate description for what you'll be getting. You'll be getting fulfillment, joy, the tender embrace of your mother's arms. This is not just soup. It is a revelation, a liquid epiphany. Heaven by the spoonful. There is no question that this soup is good enough for you. The question you have to ask yourself is, am I good enough for this soup? You, you know what I miss? The family cooking, the, the, the cooking I'll never have that I miss. The grandmother on my dad's side, she made one hell of a corned beef cabbage. I miss that. My grandmother on my mother's side, spending a day at her house and she's making snickerdoodles for Christmas. And I get to have the warm snickerdoodles before they cool off and start getting hard there's still a little it's just they're just a little bit chewy oh. and my mother's jambalaya she had the hand written recipe for years 
handwritten recipe from Paul Perdone himself. Given to her for Papa and I to get a little recipe. She memorized that and learned how to cook it and just like nobody nobody makes the same. It's not even close. Yeah. Those are the the three flavors I miss in my life I'll I'll never have again. Ooh, even more so. My grandmother on my mom's side made what was it I <sighs> bologna salad. I don't know <laughs> if you guys don't know <laughs> what I'm talking about. She made an amazing bologna salad. It's just like ground bologna, celery salt, and mayo. Sometimes very finely diced raw onion. Like just. <sighs> fantastically good. <laughs> Charlie, you have a good stream, man. Your next stream. Go win the World Series there, bud. Well, there's a phone call of a number that's not coming up on my thingy, so I don't answer it. That's how I operate. Hmm. Uh, no. On consideration... You are not good enough for this soup. Ruffians. Oh, you're back. And so what's this guy's deal? You are still not worthy. So you want what now? <laughs> you just have to be good enough. Ooh, I have a sprint. Nice. Okay. So, so am I tapping the sprint or holding the sprint? Blessed by Bishop Hensard himself. What a load of shite. Always a few who take advantage of hard times. Okay. Hold the sprint. Or tap it. Are, are you seeing this? Like the sprint makes no goddamn difference. It just like makes the it just kind of slightly zooms in and makes you tilt your head a little bit. There is absolutely no speed difference. Pressing that sprint button. This is... It's telling me to go. Oh, they're just... That is the waypoint. Okay, it's not going to be Finest people around. That's right. Oh, 
No complaints about that music. I played some Zydeco the other day at work, man. I poor people come in and all bitch about Zydeco. Fine, <laughs> I'll change it up to. Uh, <coughs> oh, gosh darn it! I can't think of his name at the moment. I put on um. Yo, what's new, pussy cotton? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's that, that guy? But I'm a bunch of that shit. He must have done something wrong. The temple knows what it's doing. Like, I put on some eclectic, you know, I've, I've, I'm an eclectic music person, man, and I th you know. Well, let's put on some fairly decent tunes, man, and somebody starts bitching about it. I'm, I'm going to start putting on some uh, really, really awful tunes until, some <laughs> until somebody says, hey, you need to listen to better shit. Okay, you got to stop complaining about the crap that I play then. You know, like, like just get ready to walk into some wild stuff like I, I had a dude one one night started bitching about me playing um I was playing nine inch nails Right, I was playing something from Nine Inch Nails, and he was like, "That's just you. You can't do that. That's just too much. It's too hard." And I was like, "Oh, you need something more mellow." <laughs> he was like, "Yeah." So I put on um, uh, 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 William Shatner reciting "Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds," man. <laughs> You know, William Shatner reciting Beatles, Lucy of the Sky with Diamonds. Oh, my God. The look I got from the guy was fantastic. <laughs> I had a friend come to me one time. <laughs> right? Live in a college town. I live in a college town. I'm 20-something years old. <laughs> this party at a friend's house and it just keeps going <laughs> and I'm sitting next to the stereo and, I got the, and he's just like dude these people won't leave Mike I need them to leave man what do I do and I was like well you can call the cops or you can tell you could stand next to me and tell everybody that I have control of the stereo <laughs> he was like okay you have control of the stereo and I proceeded to put on my CD of uh, Tibetan uh, Tibetan monk throat singing oh my god watch the people just flip out like what the fuck are you playing and I just look at him and he's like I don't know I, I told him he can have it for for 20 minutes, man. He gave me 180 bucks, so so he can have the stereo for 20 minutes. <laughs> That's what he was telling people. It's like he gave me money, so he can have the stereo. He's he's got the stereo, man. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I just watched the whole place clear out. It was great. Yeah. Those those memories, those memories that you just can't get rid of. Come edge, carrots, 
Why? Are you, you gonna tell me I'm not? I, I can't buy a carrot from you? Is that, is that what this guy's gonna do? Cabbage, you get your carrots and uh, potatoes. Cabbage, carrots, potatoes. Cabbage, you get your carrots and uh, potatoes. They get it. And it's not getting me any other options because apparently I don't understand the cabbage, carrots, and potatoes yet because I'm not you know, uh, familiar with the town. That's going to be too much, man, if there's going to be... I don't, I don't need the music all mixing together like that, man. I mean, it does. It, it, gives, it, the, it gives it the live thing. Like you're in, in the place, but it needs, it needs to fade in and out more. I'll give it that. Hey, what's up, guys? Nothing? Alright. This neighborhood welcomes all races. Protected by an adventurer's... By the Adventurer's Guild. Okay. Let's get over here. Let's see what this thing says. The favorite notice. Uh, hold on here. Give me a second. Fatherite notices and edicts. Be it known that the Temple of the Swordfish seeks the adventurer Sneff. Uh, oh. Be it known, the Temple of Swordfish seeks the adventurer Neff Oakmore for quest questioning in connection with necromancy and possession of forbidden texts. Anyone with information on his whereabouts is instructed to report to the temple immediately by order of Bishop Henrid. Gosh, reading stuff has become hard. Doesn't matter its size, doesn't matter its... It's just... <sighs> As I'm getting older, I'm seeing stuff is getting harder to... <clears throat> ah. <laughs> and you know what I put that to? I put that to... Uh, trying to learn or not being great at it but trying to learn this, the speed reading thing and uh, did okay but then that just deteriorated and then I I'm back to a whole nother thing looking at different languages so like get back to Just straight English, so I can barely do anymore. Just yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Here we are. Just Thank learning you. how you change as you're getting older, man. Sorry. What a drag it is getting old. Now if somebody pops out a back door and gives you some pills, you know, don't don't take them just because mama says it's okay.
Oh, finally, without the... Over here. Psst, psst. I'm hidden. Look, I'm blending in perfectly. You can't see me move your rat. Shh. Don't tell anybody I'm here. <laughs> there were more folk killed last night. Some great beast, they said. Again, they blame us for it. What I just saw at Henry's Hanging Tree was the last straw. We have to... Did you hear that? The Song of the Maiden. What does it foretell this time? Arrest the heretics! Burn this den of evil to the ground! This way, hero! Hurry! Quickly, everybody, get your ass out of here. Um, now I get the character creation. Well, no, I'm going to create a character. Why, why would you... Why would you put you through all of that to go to a thing to put you into character creation? The... The fuck, man. I don't understand. That, that, that does not make sense, Angel. This is not Fables. This is uh, The Bard's Tale, number four, Director's Cut. I'm the loot rocker! <laughs> that, was that was pretty good, man. Doesn't have the 80s hair, but has all the 80s bush. Oh! Jesus. Okay. So yeah, bar bar bards do that. Oh, it's only gonna tell me okay. Practitioner is a master of Magic Big Seed and yeah, fight rogue. What, like, do I have to have this hump back fucking bush ass thing behind my head on every character? Well, like, Jesus Christ, lady. She, she likes being furry. Obviously. Well, I mean, it is a bard's tale. You might have as well, uh, yeah, be a bard. Right?
bad human in your human either way I'm female Oh. Bed in your I fit. How would you are uh, fifty? Fifty. Fifty. Something. Something like that. I don't know. Don't really care, Outlander. Cause I mean, what 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 am I going for here, man? Am I going for like uh, selecting one of the things makes that big of a difference to me? Did I give a shit? No, not probably not. I'm looking for what's what's cool, right? was on a pillar what was on a pillar what the fuck is it this is this is a dwarf that's a human let me correct let me understand here. That's a human. That's a dwarf. That's a human. That's an elf. That's a dwarf. What? No. <laughs> I just had to flat. Human? Elf. Dwarf. I think somebody missed something when, when they were making this game. I mean, you, I mean, they're, 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 okay, all the aesthetics, whatever, the blues, whatever, I don't care. Dwarf. He's. Okay. I don't know. <sighs> you know, x rayed and scanned enough and zapped enough, you get that nice, healthy green glow. What do you guys think should I, I should be? You must have been making a smoke because it was the view uh, was on a wooden pillar 
Oh, like making the guys. Yeah. Oh, oh, I. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. We're talking about like. I gotcha. Sorry. The thing that's totally not a dwarf. Yes, let's go for the thing that is totally Come not on. a fucking dwarf. As a dwarf, okay. If you make me fight, I'll kill you. Come on, fight. Come on. You are making me very, very tired. You are. If you don't go away. I shall be quite cross. If you don't go away, I shall be quite cross. Is that your face, or are you walking backwards? Is that your face? Watch out, or I'll hurt you. You don't skip. How can you prevail when we have right on our... Your wickedness! Will... You make me sick. Why do you even exist? It hurts me just to look at you. It hurts me just to look at you. Why are you even trying? Why are you... Why are you being so awful? Run along now. It would be so nice if you weren't here. It would be so nice if... When all this... Why... Why hope you nibble Your mother's calling!
strength times four. A swordsman master. Deal, th deal three physical. Ah, oh, for different stuff here. Tireless. Critical hits with swords at abilities have 50% chance to restore. Critical hits with an axe add stack of bleed. Critical hits with a bludgeon. Stun combat behind the targets. Constitution is the a heavy armor. Let's go ahead and Okay, let's finalize. Do I confirm this character, guys? Yes, no, maybe. Mm. I mean, I don't know who's playing what. If he's playing a game tonight, we'll all be over there. Otherwise, I can host some of the other games here. What would you guys like to do? Because I got jack shit all for the evening. Yay. Ten minutes on the rock. Let's go. <sighs> All right. Is that what I'm hearing? What you mean here at Dish? 
Dave, where's Dave? Does anybody know what Dave's doing? If, if, if Dave's going to be hosting the games, I'll let Dave host the games. If I'm hosting the games, I'll host the games. We've got to find out what's happening. He's got a bigger variety. It can jump to a whole lot better. You guys know that. Because he's got that Whopper computer. You know what I heard? That they're... My goodness, man. So, like, it's happened on a... It's a known bug that's happened on... PlayStation Network. People have had and their shit just disappears, man. Like like as far as the, the PlayStation work happens, their shit just disappears. Look, I'm talking from like knowing people who like have like me. What are, you've already streamed your shit from it. You've already done the whole fucking nine yards and you've done the whole thing and then just like... It's gone from your account. And PlayStation has, has acknowledged that this thing is a thing, but they like... Don't legally know what to do with it yet. And that's the hard part. Did I own it? Did you own it? No, you were really just running it. No, I wasn't running it for five years. I bought the fucking game. Digitally bought the game. I'm supposed to have that for my entire lifetime now at this point. But that's not how that works, is it? No. <laughs> Do you remember that being that that's the that's the sales point is like Well we're gonna sell it to you digitally so you have it for a lifetime. Yeah, I just heard about that, man. Already memes. Already memes. I mean, how fast can an internet make a meme? <laughs> Seconds. Seconds. <laughs> it's ridiculous. First meme I came across is that the meme with the uh oh. what do we got here? Oh yeah, if you didn't pop out of a car that you are done. You're done. Alrighty, folks. Are we 
we're, we're popping back here for games or over to Dave's for games? He's done for the night, is what you said, Angel. So I guess what we're gonna do. That's that's correct, mate. After after ten minutes it's over. Well, no, uh, no. Uh, you'd be surprised. You still got, you still got time, man. You got. Mm, conceivably, <laughs> up to twenty minutes plus, depending on how cold it is, too. All kinds of stuff, but. In general, yeah, no, it's done. So we're coming back here to do games, or we're going over to Dave's to do games? Dave isn't here. Dave's not here, man. You know what I'm thinking about doing? I'm thinking about making Grey Gamer host host the next game. But he ain't back for for a while. All right. We made it. What a nightmare, eh? Come on. We've got to get to the old guild and figure a way to protect ourselves. So what's the grid movement? See, now, I, now I'm curious, man. There's all kinds of... Grid movement. <sighs> Mini map. Hold on. What the hell is Struggler's Lament? Okay, let's do this. Just see what the difference is in the game. Oh, grid movement. Oh, I see. Oh, that's that's neat. Cause this is based off the old dungeon crawler. Oh, I kind of like that. I'm not gonna lie, I, I like that. The adventurers' guild from back before the old town was buried is still here after all these years. Just a little filthier and liable to collapse. At least it's well hidden. No danger of another visit from the Fatherites. Come on. We're looking for a green door. Oh, I like that. Like he gives you the best of both worlds, man. Like I can free, I can freely move around with the grid on, or I can use the grid to step in an exact place. Oh, I like that. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna stop this game. I'm gonna be back on in.
10 minutes or so, probably less. Hit me at something to eat. We'll jump back on and get some games rolling. Sound good? I'll be back on in less than 10 minutes, but you know, as far as starting a game. Ten fifteen minutes. You guys want to play? Uh, a, a riff. You guys want to play? A, uh, a, a idiot. Earwax. <laughs> Quit flash. Let's get the votes in. Yay. Crimson on white A madman's story of ancient glory Brought death from far away Not again, like I say, I wouldn't mind getting a scour, the depths of Copy of the soundtrack Snow Look that up at some point summer, in my head not the greatest of music, but uh, decent. I got a... Like Black Flag. Black Flag had a good, uh, good soundtrack. Death's cold fingers tear us apart. So are we doing Jack? Am I doing Jackbox or am I doing a uh, a uh, Fibbage when, or, or a uh, sorry? Am I doing Jackbox or am I doing uh, Rift Tracks when I come back? What do you guys want? Now there it lies, if fair he rise to bring him low again. Snow in summer, ice in my head, dead cold fingers tear us apart. Snow in summer, ice in my head, dead cold fingers tear. 